Hi guys, this is your sister Karen Gidden in Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, I want to come to you with a powerful, very, very powerful, I would say, uh, trance that my mom shared with me on the 29th of April 2020. And in my last video that I did concerning uh, Jamaica and their uh, prime minister, was basically sold out to the B system and I did promise that I would do this vision because this is very very uh, trans rather because what my mom told me was very very powerful and when she told me when she told me the trance I could not keep it to myself because I got so excited so I'm gonna go straight into this trance so she phoned me on the 29th to tell me that she had a trance a couple of days before the 29th of April 2020 very very short she said she wasn't sleeping she was lying on the bed and all of a sudden she went into this trance brothers and sisters where the most high uh bought two angels in front of her and these two angels were pulling up what appears to be a cylinder okay it looked like a cylinder what she saw and the angels needed to get into Sorry if you can hear my 16-year-old son in the background. He's having his tea. So I, I told him not to make any noise. All right? Yeah. Okay, good boy. <laughs> Sorry about that. He's eating. So if you hear his mouth, yeah, that's, that's teenagers for you. Um, so she said to me that um, the Lord brought these two angels in front of her. And basically, uh, these two angels were trying, but they weren't trying. They were pulling up what appears to be a, a huge cylinder to get into the cylinder to release something. She said she saw these angels pulled, uh, pulled up the cylinder to get inside of it. She said when they pulled the cylinders, brothers and sisters, she saw this huge mist or smoke like type uh, thing coming out of the cylinder and then she woke out of the vision when she woke out of the vision or the trance rather she said to the Lord she said father what is this what is the meaning of this and um, and the Holy Spirit began to speak to her the Holy Spirit began to speak to her and basically told her that, listen to this brothers and sisters, the Holy Spirit told her that the mist that the two angels were, that, that the two angels released from the cylinder, this is what is going to be released in the earth to counteract the con the, the cod v okay, the cod v uh, virus, brothers and sisters. And when she told that to me straight away, like straight away, brothers and sisters, it just reminded me of the video that I did with the revelation that the Lord gave me that the corona is already done. It's been eradicated. It is gone. Hallelujah. In the spiritual realm and only to be manifested in the natural. So when my mom had this vision, uh, when the Lord gave her this trance, showing her the cylinder with the two angels pulling up the cylinder to release the mist or the smoke to counteract the uh the wicked man-made pestilence uh corona and knew straight away that the lord is speaking loud and clear as i began to speak to her i said to her i said mom you know this vision unlike my vision unlike my revelation that the most i told me that is over in the spiritual realm this trance that you got concerning the two angels pulling up the cylinder to get the mist to go up in the atmosphere to counteract the wicked man-made pestilence i said to her i said this is going to be physical hallelujah what she saw is nothing spiritual it's not going to be you know, behind closed door when the Most High is working. Because when this co um, corona 
is ready to go away when the lord you know put a stop to it though it's going to come back at some point but when the most high put a stop to it for the time being for this dispensation yeah i mean the wicked governments are going to try to take credit for it by saying oh you know we turn off the the g5 saw the thing but as my mom began to begun to speak and with the two angels opening up the opening up the cylinder to release the mist or the smoke in the atmosphere it's like the lord was just showing me in the spirit what's going to come in the natural brothers and sisters do not be surprised listen to me very very carefully do not be surprised if you do not hear or see with your natural eyes a mist or a cloud that's going to be that's going to be described as phenomenon around the the, the wicked 5G towers because they're going to malfunction they are going to malfunction and the government is going to come out and well whether they come out and say whatever but it's going to cause them to turn off the wicked man-made pestilence so it's gonna really backfire in the faces so i believe you know this this trance that my mom got concerning the mist going up in the atmosphere you may not see well the physical mist but as she was speaking to me it's like i saw in the spirit mist around all these 5g towers planted all over the world and it's gonna cause the 5G to, to malfunction. And this is why I did the video weeks ago. If you go through my playlist, brothers and sisters, weeks ago, I did a video saying that they're going to turn off the 5G. They will. They will turn it off, brothers and sisters, because it's going to malfunction. And that's because of the most high. So I, I truly believe, you know, that, that, you know, some of us will see a mist or you'll be hearing reports of a mist or a cloud or something phenomenon around all these 5G towers. And it won't be long. It's going to happen soon, brothers and sisters. So, you know, I was open for the three days of darkness. I did a video, you know, concerning the three days of darkness. You know, how I thought this was just me and I gave my opinion. I didn't say thus said the Lord when I did that video. I said that was from me. Um, concerning uh, the, 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 the uh, sorry, lost for words. Concerning the three days of darkness that will eradicate or counteract the, the man-made pestilence. Still could happen. But, you know, my mom got this vision. I want to release it. The Lord showed her in a trance where these two angels were opening up a cylinder to release a smoke or mist into the atmosphere to counteract the wicked man-made pestilence. And I believe that this mist is going to go where all these wicked 5G towers are and it's going to cause them to malfunction. Okay, it's going to cause them to malfunction and stuff. So, you know, the Lord is working it out. You know, some of you think that the Most High is quiet during this man-made pestilence that's going on. He's not quiet, brothers and sisters, but you cannot rush him. You cannot put him in a box and you cannot rush the Most High. You just have to wait on him until he is ready to work and he's ready to move. So you've got to be in a position where you are ready and you are walking in his integrity, okay? Because you, you really don't want the wrath of God to fall on you, especially, you know, when you're, when you're not walking in his light, in his footstep, in his status. So it's a very encouraging trance my mom gets, very, very encouraging. And, you know... My mom, I cannot explain how awake she is. You know, she's a prophetess like myself. 
but she is so awake <laughs> brothers and sisters i am telling you you know and my dad as well both of them i give god thanks for their lives but they're truly truly awake they're not asleep and for the age group as well because majority of the churches that you go to majority of the churches their age group you know i'm not going to tell you their age but they're not young okay but majority of their age group in the churches if you go to them they're not awake some some of some of these christians in the church are so asleep and one of the reasons why i knew my mom was very very this is one reason you can know when people are awake okay especially you know our senior brothers and sisters in the lord one of the measures you can measure and i was quite taken back and i was quite surprised and one of the measures that i used to say my mom is awake apart from her getting visions and dreams and all of that and prophetic gift and revelation is when i said to my mom i said mom which tribe are you from and i said who are the chosen people who are the true hebrews and the first thing when she said to me, this is was before I told her where I was my tribe, or she's my mom, isn't it? But I haven't said anything to her concerning, you know, the tribe where I'm from and all of that. Because I had a vision in 2017 about that. And I said to my mom, I said, Mom, uh, which tribe are you from? Which tribe? And she said to me, I am from the tribe of Judah. And I was just so taken back because I'm from the tribe of Judah. And that was given to me in a vision. You know, the Lord told me that in a vision. And I said to her, ah, hold on. I said, hang on, mom. I said, right, hold on. How did you know that? She said, it was revealed to me through the Holy Spirit. And she said that all the 12 tribes are still on the earth. She's very deep. She's not asleep. Yes. Brothers, and if she had a YouTube channel, I am telling you with my dad as well, you know, um, if she had a you, um, you guys would learn so much. And when I go back to Jamaica, um, by the grace of the Most High, I'm going to feature her on this channel and let she have a little talk with you because she's really, really deep. She's very, very spiritual, very, very prophetic, very, very deep uh, person. And I give God thanks for her. So, yeah, so um, she had that, uh, she called me up to tell me that she had this uh, this trance. I didn't tell her that I was going to do a video. So she might see this because my nephew sometimes play the videos for my mom and my dad. But it's very encouraging. I, I truly believe in my heart that the 5G, they're going to malfunction. And that's because of what the Lord is going to release in the earth to counteract this wicked thing. It is time. Okay? It is time. Um... It's been a test run for the body of Christ concerning the the, the, the corona, uh, COVID, the COVID or the corona. It's been a test run for the church. So, you know, we have to gear up and be ready. So God eternally bless you. I love you all. And I will see you soon, someday in glory. In Jesus Christ's precious holy name. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.